Hello from Netherlands. I'm Miss Neverwood and welcome to my channel. In this video will just be me just wanting about my favorite series because I love it to pieces and I don't see it being talked about enough. So bear with me. The World Formers premiered on Nickelodeon on September 1998 and ended in 2004 with a run of 5 seasons and 91 episodes and 2 movies. The World Formers movie and Rugrats Come Wild. The World Farm Breeze is about a family of documentarians that travel all over the world for their wildlife documentary show and the family's adventures, particularly 12-year-old Eliza Farm Breeze, who serves as the main protagonist and has the special ability of being able to talk to animals, give it to her after she saved the shaman as a warthog. The World Farm Breeze was a favorite of my childhood shows because I loved nature and loved learning about the world and its inhabitants. What I adore even more about the Wild Farm Breeze is that watching it now, I'm seeing it from a whole new perspective as an adult, as opposed as a child's perspective, and finding more impression for it, as is often the case with a beloved children's story. It's quite a charming story that has a very interesting premise, themes, and characters. What I absolutely love about the Formberry family is that they are a very realistic and dysfunctional family and that they will do anything for each other. That doesn't mean there aren't any disagreements and conflicts, but the bond as a family wins out in the end. And this is all thanks to the series cast. Every single member of the family is too much, so much fun to watch. I love the dynamics between each and every character from teenager Debbie, wild boy Donnie, the very intense dad Nigel, the mom Mary Ann, and the chimpanzee Darwin, the best friend of main character Eliza. Each and every one of these characters are so much fun to watch, as I said, because not a single family member is one note. What impressed me even more is that the series contains both strong male and female characters that each have their own strengths and flaws, making them very dynamic, very relatable, and very good role models of what it means to be a family. There are even these farewell lines that characters make that hints at a very interesting past experience that makes you even more invested in the character and makes me want to see an episode of Up said line. Another plus for this is even with the very enjoyable cause is the overall aim of the series is trying to convey to its audience along with other elements of it. I am very impressed in how the series managed to subtly weave the intricate aspects into the storylines of its episode. How well reached the series is about topics of wildlife, geography, cultures, and its conservation message. How it breaks away from the norms we see every day, like gender roles and the average family structure, using the natural world as an example. I can go on and on about the wild form reef. Other elementary in themes of the series I enjoyed include family, friendship, man and nature as one, the connection between mankind and natural world and man as an animal, the spiritual and supernatural aspects that, that makes for very interesting world building, what it means to be human, and of course, the humor. Thank you if you had stuck with me so far. I want to share my enthusiasm for the show and make people even aware of it, especially in these current times. If it wasn't already obvious enough, I highly recommend the show. Thank you for watching. I'm Miss Nevenbird and always remember to have a little faith, trust and pixie dust. Bye!